This group that's closest to the camera, give me a pair here with a, with a basketball. Now I'm gonna teach them how to defend when their partner doesn't have the ball. All right, so your offense, you're facing Grace. Scarlett, stand next to her, all right? Now, she's gonna pass it. Eve, pass it. Then your goal to score a point is to just move around into space and get a catch back from Grace. Go back. That's all you're gonna do, but the drill's not for you. The drill's for the defense. So Scarlett's gonna stand next to you. Ball back here, please, Grace. Grace, you're gonna position yourself so your back is facing Grace. Do that for me. Nice. Correct. So one arm's length away from her, back faces Grace. As soon as she passes, don't let her get the ball back. So you might have to position yourself where you can feel where she's going, but you can also see the basketball in your peripheral vision. Does anyone know what peripheral vision means? Yes, well, not outside your eyes, but I'm looking at you, but I can still see the coaches over there and I can still see Bessa and, and Betty and Tessa, sorry, not Bessa. <laughs> I can still see them over there in my peripherals. All right, so pass it, ready, go. And freeze, freeze, no dribble, allow her to pass it, go. So pass and freeze. Now, Scarlett, don't let her get the ball back. So you're gonna to have to try to see both. Put a bar arm on her belly, good. And then put a hand in the passing lane, thumb down. Your chin is on your shoulder, but not literally on your shoulder. Yes. All right, ready, action. Try and get the ball back. Oh, don't let her catch and freeze. Oh, freeze. So that's a point, all right? Way to bounce back up, good girl. Way to be resilient. All right, one more demonstration. Ready? Try and do that one more time. Pass and action. Don't let it catch the ball back. Now, that was interesting what you just did. You just turned your head from this side to the other. Why did you decide to do that? That is called a head snap, coaches. Teaching kids to look the other way as quickly as possible. Girls, with your partners. Ready? We'll only do this for 30 seconds. Get it. So pass, then try to get open for a catch. Defense, don't let them get the ball back. Get set, go. Good, stay with your player, stay with your player. Oh, switch roles. Good leadership skills, Tessa, good girl. Sorry? Oh, really? No wonder they're smiling so much. And freeze. So Tessa, the way you're defending her, right? You're fending her this way, but you also have to see the ball. Yeah. So put a bar arm on her and then your chin on your shoulder so you can see the ball as well. Yeah. Arabella, you can stay over there. Ready? So make sure you see the ball. That's the girl, good girl. Better, better, good girl, well done. Try and get the ball, Ramona, no break dancing. Keep going. Oh, well, look like, switch rolls. Good, 10 seconds to go, let's go. Now, if I was, if I wanted to make this more engaging, I would add a score to this. So every catch was a point, every successful defensive stop is a point, then first person of five points. That way it will just increase the competition. All right, 10 seconds, girls. Good, make sure you see the ball as well, Chloe. Now remember. Ready, go. Good, ooh, she was too quick, mate. Next time you defend Chloe, get a bar arm on their belly button. Five, four, three, two, and freeze. Freeze. Girls, go have a quick sit down on the baseline over there. I'll call you back in a minute. High fives all around. Well done so far. Well done. All right. So coaches, that little drill there is called uh, Giant's Treasure. There's many ways that you can use that and adapt it to try and extract the kind of defense that you want. Uh